Hi Cancers, it's Nick. I hope you guys are doing well. It's for all my Cancers, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Men, and Women. We're now covering April 11th till the 17th, as you can see below. And this week, there's a lot going on. Um, on the 11th, we have Mercury entering Taurus. So what we're thinking about and communicating um, is all about the pleasures, our spidey senses, and things that we want to feel, touch, experience, um, kind of indulging. is going to be more on our mind um, and what people are going to want to probably talk about more or anything that brings you some kind of stability or security as well okay and then on the 12th to the 13th we have jupiter conjuncting neptune and jupiter sextiling the north node so right now our experiences um, and our beliefs are aligning with our dreams that are taking us moving us forward to our future um, so right now if you're experiencing things that you don't want to experience and you feel like you're living a nightmare well the first thing you need to do first and foremost is change your beliefs change your beliefs because if you could do that your experiences will change that will follow right after and you can change the narrative of your future and what you want to do um, moving forward and if you are living life and you're doing good and you're happy well keep doing what you're doing because right now jupiter is going to expand that and make it grow and give you a little cushion um, to align you with your future and your dreams and what you want to experience so either whichever side of the spectrum you are you just got to change your beliefs and think more positively and your experiences will change as well it seems very difficult but it's actually very simple but i realize, or we all maybe know this that the simple things in life that make the biggest change are usually the hardest things to do but if you can like master that you are gonna be uh killing it in life so right now please focus on changing your belief systems and have faith and belief in yourself and what you want to achieve accomplish experience this is a very powerful time okay um because both jupiter and Nept uh, neptune are in pisces and we have a lot of pisces energy in the sky still okay and then on the 14th we have lilith moving into cancer and the neptune sex telling the north node so this is bringing up probably past family wounds around home, family. Um, so that could be coming up and things that maybe once brought us some shame or guilt or embarrassment, but we're also have the opportunity to heal these things um, and not let our past or upbringing or what family, what happened in our family, re not repeat those cycles. So they're coming up so that you can look at them, heal from them, forgive and change your own narrative. You don't have to repeat the cycle of family trauma or generational curses stuff like that if you had toxic family members parents you can be different you can change that future moving forward and then on the 15th we have mars entering pisces and then mars uh trining lilith so uh kill him with kindness kill him with kindness right now we have the gift to really heal forgive let go um kind of like heal everything with love with peace and forgiveness um, you don't have to fight, you know, fire with fire, eye for an eye. Um, eye for an eye leaves everyone blind, as they say. Um, and, you know, I guess just open your heart and forgive. And sometimes it's not about forgiving and looking like a sucker, but forgiving for yourself so that you could be at peace, okay? Um, and not using passive aggressive tendencies or manipulation, um, but just fighting with love, with peace and integrity and um, moving forward. You're... Uh, I feel like this energy is just going to help us to um, slow things down and soften up and not be so like rah, 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 okay? Or um, have more control over our emotions or use our emotions, our heart, our love to heal the world and our relationships and, you know, our life, okay? And then we on the 16th, we have a full moon in Libra. So this full moon is all about relationships, friends, family, neighbors, coworkers, romantic relationships. At this time, either there are relationships coming together, bonds that are forming or and solidifying, or there are relationships that are breaking apart. So it's either or. You're either going to have relationships coming together, getting stronger, combining, or separating. Some people are either side of the spectrum. I feel like there's not really in the middle unless you're not like talking to her or have no relationships in your life. It's either some are coming together or feeling stronger or they're breaking apart. And those that are breaking apart maybe are just weren't meant to be. And the ones that are coming together are really coming in um, solid um, on a stronger foundation and basis. Okay. And the cardinal signs will be feeling this the most. So of course, Libras, um, Capricorn, uh, cancers and what was the other cardinal sign? Aries? Yes, Aries. 
<laughs> okay. Um, and then the next day we have Easter. So happy Easter, everybody. Okay. All right, guys. So let's get started. I know that was a little bit long, but hopefully that's not boring to you. So we're going to be covering a little bit of health, work, and love. I'll have a link to the extended reading below in the description box if you're interested afterwards. Okay. All right, my beautiful cancers. When it comes to health, it feels like you're coming out of your shell. You're coming out of your shell or you're coming out of hiding or maybe you're finally feeling better. Maybe you were sick or you're feeling under the weather. Now you're feeling good or you got done with treatment or surgery or whatever. Um, it feels like you're coming out and maybe mentally now you're like, you know what? I'm ready to be a little more social. I'm ready to go outside a little bit more and not be stuck at home or, you know, watching YouTube and Netflix all day, every day, like maybe a lot of us do. It's like you're coming out of your shell. Maybe you're starting to feel better about yourself or you want to be out and about. You want to do more sports or activities or work out. Um, you've been maybe inside or in your own head and now you're like, ah, you know, I want to go do things. I want to try new things. So you may feel a little bit more antsy or like you want to get out and do things. Um, and you don't want to just be like alone and <laughs> bored all the time. Not that you are bored or alone, but I feel like you want to get out now. So you may be feeling like a little more uh, spontaneous or adventurous. Like you want to get out of your shell or just like go out for a fresh walk or, um, I don't know, do whatever activities you like to do. Okay. All right. And it's like, you're not, you're getting out of your head. You're not trying, you're not, you don't want to think too hard. You just want to experience, you want to have some fun. Um, I feel like getting out, whatever this means to you, getting some fresh air is actually going to be really good for you, especially mentally for your mental health. Okay. All right. So when it comes to your work, school, career, and finances, it feels like in this area of life, you may be feeling kind of stuck or like you feel like you're, you can't get out of a certain situation or you're kind of stressing about, you're stressing about your situation. Maybe you're unhappy. Maybe you hate your job. Maybe you don't like how school is going. Maybe you are in heavy debt or something. You're like, oh my gosh, what am I going to do? I don't know how I'm going to get out of this. And you're stressing yourself out more than you need to. And guess what? If you got yourself in a little bit of a pickle in a sticky situation, you can get out of that situation. It may take a little bit hard. It may take a little bit longer and harder, right? Because we can spend, it's easier to spend than to make, um, but you can get out of it and you can start by making a plan for yourself. Obviously, you're not going to get out of this situation or um, be happier the next day if you, there's some things that need to get done logistically, but you can make a plan, extend your time, like a year from now or a few years from now, if I do X, Y, Z, um, you know, I can get out of this or I can figure things out. When you kind of extend your time frame, it gives you a little bit more, it's more doable, it's less stressful. So you just want to make a plan for yourself. Anything that you're into, whether it's really bad or just you're just kind of stressed, you make a plan for yourself, organize your thoughts, you can get out of it. Um, there's nothing that's impossible. So if you're unhappy, find uh, practical ways to make a change in your life so that you can create a better life that makes you happy or that gets you in a spot that's, um, I guess, uh, more suitable for you, for your needs or your wants, your goals, whatever it is that you have. But you're not stuck. If you think you're stuck, it's mental. It's mental. You can mentally get out of the situation and change your perspective and be like, okay, maybe I can't change everything, but let me focus on what I do have some control over. What can I change? Okay, maybe I'll make a stricter budget or I could do this or I can get a side hustle. Or I could do, there's so many things you could do. Just make a game plan for yourself, but don't stay stuck because you're not stuck. It's all mental. So make a plan, get organized. You can get out of it. It may take a little bit longer, but think long-term. Don't think short-term. Don't think easy, quick hacks because success doesn't come like that. It takes time. So just think more long-term and you'll save yourself a lot of stress. Okay. All right. So when it comes to your uh, love relationships and dating on your side, we have the five of swords in reverse, the page of swords in reverse, which I actually like, and the page of wands. Ooh, so conversations, conversations are um, becoming a little less robotic and a little more fun and lighthearted. I like that. And then on this other side for this other person, this can be the past, present, or future situation, or all three, all of the above. We have the nine of crystals, the five of crystals, and Akashic Records. Okay, so as far as who you could be dealing with, this could be an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, but of course it doesn't have to be. It could be any sign like I would say to you guys. It could just be the energy this person is embodying or playing out at this time. So it could be any sign, but maybe right now the focus is more on like action, um, being in the present moment, experiencing, um, stuff like that, practical matter. So it feels like here in the situation that like, uh, two people are coming together and learning and unlearning all the bad habits or unlearning all the things that they've grown up to believe 
up to this point, maybe about love, maybe about relationships, um, you know, all that stuff. So it looks like this is someone who maybe has been single for a long time or has been kind of just doing their own thing, been a bachelorette, a bachelor for some time. They've been really focused on their career, their work, uh, you know, their future, their goals. So someone who's very independent, self-sufficient, is trying to work towards their dreams or is very, you know, responsible, okay? They have a lot going for them or they are working hard to get to where they want to be but they've been alone they've been lonely they've been just kind of hustling and doing things alone um because they feel like well you know i guess this is just how it's gonna be maybe they grew up with a single parent household or didn't really have a healthy family example to to look up to so they always just felt like well i guess this is just solo i gotta do this on my own um and it's been hard for them they got so used to being single or so used to being by themselves that maybe they don't really know how to be in a relationship they got they're very they think me 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 and now you guys are both learning maybe to communicate better to put each other's needs um for us instead of me and you individually and um kind of be more less selfish um now that there's two people in the picture okay it feels like you're learning how to better communicate and they're learning how to put their put your needs and their needs and wants together instead of just thinking me 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 you know my goals because it's always been just about them because they haven't maybe been with anyone or been serious with anyone for a long time so you're learning how to better communicate and through the communication that you guys have, you're able to easily resolve conflict just by having a conversation um, and not being petty or passive aggressive or anything like that. It's like you're both learning how to make this work um, and heal from maybe bad habits and things that uh, made made you made you both very comfortable being alone and being single but now that you're together now you're talking you have to make compromises or you have to kind of work on things that usually you didn't have to do before you know it's like putting other people's needs and not just about my wants and needs but you guys are making amends maybe you had an argument or a discussion but no, there a conversation will take place there's going to be no problem you resolve it and you're learning how to better communicate with, with each other and not only that, it's like you don't have to guess. You don't have to um, assume what the other person's doing or do any like snooping and, you know, weird kind of like, uh, I don't know, stalking and stuff. Like you guys are, this is like more healthy communication between two people who are adults, mature, and are working through their, you know, issues that are not perfect, but you guys are really trying and it's making a big difference and making a big impact. And so I feel like you're not going to be lonely anymore and this person's not going to be lonely anymore and it's like you're both working together as a team and so there's going to be more lighthearted, um fun um conversations um about adventures or things that you guys are going to be planning together or more flirtiness and fun um I, it just feels like it's not it's not going to be so cutthroat and dry it, it feels like more fun flirty conversations and plans for the future together now that you're a little more solid or there's a stronger connection stronger bond and respect that has been forming and it's like you're going down memory lane so maybe this person's going to be showing you something from their past or you're going to an old restaurant or a place they grew up in or you grew up in um and they're remembering a lot of things or sharing their old memories with you or maybe you guys are going to be recreating or redoing um something that they used to love to do as a kid or something that they used to a place they used to go to or they're just sharing like old memories with you and you guys are maybe reliving it or recreating it in some way shape or form i also feel like this person is someone who's like trying to um make their present and future life better than their past um but you're gonna know or they're gonna be sharing with you things from their past that help you understand them maybe on a deeper level Okay, um, I also feel like they probably have really good memory or maybe they have photographic memory. Maybe this person loves to read or they love history. They love learning about ancient texts and cultures and civilizations. I don't know. I just feel like someone who's very uh, intellectual or really um, smart, likes to learn or likes to teach or is very um, interested in finances or, um, you know, is like someone who's like always learning or trying to learn. So I feel like you... Um, they inspired you or you guys inspire each other. 
very, very good. I like this. Okay. So we're going to dive in deeper and extend it to get more information, see where their energy is at. What are they thinking? What are they feeling when it comes to you? What they don't want you to know that maybe you should know and what their next action move will be towards you. And then also your advice. Okay. So we'll continue on with extended link will be below. Hopefully I'll see you guys there. If not, I'll see you for our next reading. Take care and I wish you guys all the best. Bye.